So, in this beautiful image, we've got divers in a mine, the lighting is interesting, and we've got both natural structures with the rock walls, and also man-made structures like these pipes on the left here. So I've requested the AI to both extend the walls, keep the color gradient, and also extend the pipe. So I'm asking it to do quite a lot here. And this is the result, right? It's so impressive that, yeah, that's great. It's done a great job with both the walls. And what's cool here, if you look, it's even imagined new pipes. Okay, this is way better. For me, this is amazing stuff. Okay, now this image, we, this image you may have seen a lot. We use this a lot during GUE presentations. Two divers, you know, swimming through the wreck. All right, like the last image, I want to extend the sides, make the image look even wider. So there's a lot of things that could go wrong here with the shape of the twisted metal, but here's the final result. And again, for me, that's absolutely awesome. It's perfectly extended the curvature of the on the left and even imagine what happened off frame on the right. I think this is incredible. Okay, next here we have, this is a bit three by two. This is a square image of a diver penetrating a wreck. I don't like the dimensions here. So let's see how the AI copes with extending it. Here's the result. The only thing the only thing it's actually got wrong here is it's tried to copy Kirill's watermark at the bottom and yeah, it couldn't figure out what the writing was. I don't think it viewed the watermark and the, and the actual photo as two separate things. So in terms of what it's done with new piping on the left here though and extending the light on the right and yeah, to be honest, perfectly mimicking the distinct texture of the wreck, this is awesome. Um, all right, let's go on to the next one. A 916 image on the Amarante Barroso. Now, what if I wanted to completely change the composition of this photo? Let's get nuts here. Let's put the diver, let me move this photo. Let's put the diver on the right and create a whole new AI generated image on the majority of the canvas for a more interesting composition. Let's see. I mean, wow. <laughs> And just, just wow, it's literally imagined an entire new image for me. And look, it, it may lack the fidelity of what the Barroso looks like. Um, so, you know, there may be, there may now be some purists screaming at the screen going, that's not the Barroso. It's like, it, but take that out of your mind for a moment. The point of this isn't to create an, a photogrammetric accurate reaction of the Amarante Barroso. It's to see if the AI can imagine a new scene based off of little to nothing. And in this case, it has. For anyone who has not dived that wreck, this pass is for real, in my opinion. Um, like I'd happily upload this. Um, all right, let, let's, let's move over to caves. Let's see how it copes with the cave environment. So here's our original image, and here's the end result. Okay, sensational! It's mapped the texture and color pretty damn well. And it's even imagined oh, oh, up here on the left, sort of top left, it's um, <laughs> it's imagined some new formations and, and they don't look out of place at all. Now, again, it's a Barroso situation because if you've, I believe this is Juni Springs, again, not a cave diver, don't know. But I, if you've dived this, for sure, there's going to be that element of you which is like, well, this isn't accurate. This isn't true to life. It's like, Yes, but ignorance is bliss when it comes to AI. The vast majority of divers around the world, not just in our community, around the world, will not have dived this site. So for you to be able... And it's not so much about tricking people. It's just about reimagining the underwater world in a new light. It's about creating art in its purest form at the end of the day. You're taking something that exists and you're putting a fresh coat of paint on it. Is it an accurate depiction of the cave? Probably not. But is does the image pulse for real if you've never dived the cave? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Extending the area of an image is already really impressive. So what constitutes an actual photo moving forward? It's still very much up for debate. But that's maybe the topic of an interesting discussion. So comment down below. Do you think 
these AI adjusted photos, such as the ones I've shown you in this presentation, should still even be considered photos, or maybe more so a produced piece of art than an actual photo. One thing is clear though, the possibilities with this tech moving forward, for me at least, they're super exciting.